More C-919S have been ordered than the entire current fleet of British Airways. Over a thousand orders and commitments have already been placed, primarily from Chinese carriers, but the implications are global. The C-919 is China's direct challenge to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. The workhorses of short to medium haul routes worldwide and the most profitable aircraft segments for Western manufacturers, flying since 2017 and entering commercial spaces with China Eastern Airlines in 2023, the C-919 carries between 158 and 192 passengers, up to 5,550 kilometers. If these numbers sound familiar, they should. They're almost identical to the 737 MAX and A320neo. But there's a crucial difference. While Boeing and Airbus charge between $80 to $130 million per aircraft, the C919 is rumored to be offered at significant discounts to break into the market. And for emerging markets in Africa, Southeast Asia and Latin America, price matters more than brand loyalty. Now I know what you're thinking. But isn't the C919 just a collection of Western parts in a Chinese fuselage? And you'd be partially right for now. The C919 currently uses CFM Leap 1C engines, the same family powering many 737 Maxes and A320neos, along with avionics and systems from companies like Honeywell and Collins Aerospace. But here's where the long game becomes apparent. China isn't just building aircraft, they're systematically developing every component domestically. Comac has already begun testing the CJ1000 a high-bypass turbofan engine, designed specifically to replace those Western engines. When ready, every C919 delivered today is building market presence while China quietly develops indigenous replacements for each foreign component, and they're not waiting to expand the family. Comac is already developing, firstly, an extended fuselage version, adding 50 more passengers, and secondly, a shortened high-altitude variant specifically designed for operations on the Tibetan Himalayan Plateau. This isn't just product development, it's strategic positioning to create domestic alternatives in crucial market segments. Even as Boeing and Airbus continue to evolve their own narrow-body offerings, imagine the implications if successful. For the first time since the dawn of the jet age, airlines worldwide might have a viable alternative to Boeing and Airbus for one of their most important fleet segments.